So, Vigilantes, today we've got a few things to speak about. Uh, a couple of very spoilery kind of things in terms of characters returning. Uh, so, you definitely want to stay around for that part of the video. Plus, potential spin off rumor talk from Beth Schwartz herself. Uh, so, let's go over all of this Arrow News Roundup stuff because it's, it's, it's juicy. <laughs> What is up Vigilantes, welcome to a brand new Arrow video. Uh, so unfortunately still no Arrow, uh, as we all know March Madness and all that stuff is still going on in April, my brain hurts, but you know what I mean. Uh, the show's coming back soon, uh, but I'm sure if you're quite the dedicated Arrow fan, you would have heard about at least a couple of things that I'm going to talk about already. And that is, just spoiler warning, just in case you don't want to know anything in terms of like uh, finale, like episode kind of shooting or potential characters, this, that and the other, I recommend not staying around. It's not like mind-blowing spoilers, but a lot of people are very like quite an enthusiastic about this subject matter. So I just wanted to throw that out of the way. Uh, but, you know, right off the bat, um, it looks like Laurel Lance may very well be returning to Arrow. But I don't necessarily think it's Laurel Lance. Now, I've been looking at Reddit and seeing loads and loads and loads and loads of people talking about this. Obviously, Katie Cassidy is a very much so beloved um, actress on this show. A lot of people feel like her character's been wronged over the years. A lot of people uh, feel like it's not been so bad. You know, both sides of the spectrum... Uh, but there was this tweet from the user by the name of Emilia Gisek. Uh, uh, sorry if I butchered that last name. Um, and she basically captured um, some photos of, I believe, this might be the shooting for the finale episode. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know they've had the rap party and we'll talk about that in a second because we need to talk about La Monica Garrett, a.k.a. The Monitor, returning potentially towards the end of this season. And trust me, I have a few ideas about that. I think, like with all of this news, it's not as it appears to be. I think there's a lot of us doing some wishful thinking. But you know, let's get back on track and talk about the Arrow stuff. So, as you can see from these uh, photos here, that very much so is um, Katie Cassidy in the Black Canary costume. And the last time we literally kind of saw this was, you know, when she got stabbed in Season 4 and Rip Laurel Lance from Earth 1. Um, so, immediately people were jumping to... I, w I don't know if it's conclusions. People were just speculating, really, and that's what we're doing right here. That, you know... What the hell? Oh my god, Laurel Lance is returning? What the- what the- how is this even possible? Is this like a dream sequence? Is this a that sequence? Is it- is it, you know, this, that, and the other? I don't think it's Laurel Lance from Earth 1. As amazing as, as that would be, it also wouldn't be at the same time because it doesn't really make sense. Now, I'm not shitting on any of the ideas or theories of people who are saying that. I'm just thinking about this extremely logically. And like, why bring back Laurel Lance from Earth 1 through the resurrection of the only way they could do that, as far as I'm aware, is like a Lazarus pit. So I, I, I don't... It would just be so weird. Like, you've only got 10 episodes left next season, which is why I'm ruling that out. Um, you know, a lot of people also thought this as well. A little bit of background info is that Katie Cassidy, you know, like, got a haircut. She wasn't necessarily seen filming for quite some time um, after this uh, Birds of Prey upcoming episode where uh, Laurel Lance of Earth 2 you know, it seemingly goes quite evil, if you will. Um, so we're, people were thinking, and, you know, I've speculated on it as well, um, that, that that was her done for the show. I and, mean, you know, her character since her image of uh, Laurel on Earth 1 as District Attorney has now been ruined, you know, she needs to, at the end of this episode, bugger off somewhere like to Earth 2 because, you know, blah, 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 blah. You get the, you get the idea there. But then this photo comes out, and everyone's like, holy crap, what's going on? Um, so, you know, I'm just going to cut to the chase here. Bottom line, I think the only logical conclusion I can draw to this, in terms of speculation, is that it is Earth 2 Laurel yet again, um, for some reason taking on the mantle of the Black Canary, which I think is awesome. I don't know, I don't have all the dots to literally do the connecting, um, but that's the only quite literal logical scene. So this person says, the only real photos I was able to take last night, at one point Stephen Colton, so Roy is there as well, this isn't a dream sequence, unless, you know, he randomly popped up in a dream sequence, and Katie, as the characters were standing up, all I could hear is uh, Stephen saying, Overwatch, do you have eyes on? Uh, the next, you know, and then we have Spartan, uh, we have uh, the Black Canary, as, as in freaking diner uh and we have wild dog there so this does seem very you know this is a legit kind of leak if you will but i just wanted to get this news out there for you guys so i'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below obviously none of us are going to guess this 100 right but i think the right way to go in terms of speculating is that it is earth 2 laurel um maybe after spending some time on on um back on earth 2 after this upcoming episode where she might get kind of exiled there 
just speculation. She comes back, puts on that mantle because maybe Stephen Amell's Oliver Queen and, and gang, Team Arrow, need her help. Um, but, you know, it is very random. There's a lot of holes there, a lot of holes in terms of what, you know, as to why and how this happens. Um, but let me know down in the comments below as well. If you really do think this is somehow Earth-1 law resurrected, I know a lot of people would love that, but if you really think of it like, oh, think past the amazingness of having that character back, it would be pretty kind of weird and, and not so special if you think about it. If she just returned, it's like, oh, this is random. Ten episodes later, the show ends. I don't know. It just feel a bit forced, don't you? But either way, I think people are just getting very excited at the fact that Oliver Queen, Roy Harper, um, seemingly... Black Canary, as in Laurel Lance, Black Canary, all kind of in the same group again. I get it. The feels, the feels are there. So on to story number two, guys, and that is that it's uh, been popping up quite in quite a few places. I believe there's even a photo. By the way, guys, it's being reported that LaMonica Garrett, and there is a photo out there somewhere. I trust I put it in the editing. Maybe, maybe not. But either way, the important thing is LaMonica Garrett was at the Arrow kind of rap party thing. There is still some like filming to do and stuff like that, but they, you know, you've probably seen photos of uh, C. Shimuka and like the cast, you know, all taking pictures together but either way the interesting thing is what the hell is LaMonica Garrett doing there and if you didn't know already he plays the monitor well number one re very realistically thinking here he could have just been invited to go there that that's just that's just let me get that out of the way everyone yet again um, and I don't blame anyone uh, is thinking oh my god the monitor is returning in uh, the the final episodes or maybe even the finale of Arrow season seven and we'll get onto that speculation in just a moment um, but, you know, as I said, he was, you know, in the crossovers this season. Don't forget that we had the huge ass, you know, pre-crisis event leading up to this year's crossover. Um, so he could have just popped in for that. Uh, you know, the argument against that is that he does sport his kind of beard that the monitor has. I will say it does look a lot choppier, like a lot thicker. If you look at the monitor's kind of hair, it's a lot more like clean cut shaven, like a grade one or a grade two, whatever it is. Um, but either way, like he has like a lot more beefier stuff here. But either way, it's interesting that he's got the facial hair. Um, so let's now assume that he is actually at the rap party because he filmed a, you know, very, very cameo-like appearance. My best guess at this is that in the finale, with the upcoming Crisis event happening, and, you know, we can't forget that there's literally only 10 episodes left in Arrow Season 8, maybe it is just a low-key monitor just peeping around the corner saying, by the way, Oliver, don't forget a deal kind of thing, and Oliver's just like, oh my god, I didn't think this would happen so soon, um, but he respects it. And he knows that decision he made in the crossover between that behind the scenes scenes that the audience didn't get but was heavily insinuated between Oliver and the monitor, the Oliver, Oliver and the monitor that he would sacrifice himself or something like that. Um, you know, I think Oliver Queen would take it, you know, in his stride. I think if there is going to be a scene between LaMonica Garrett being the monitor again in this season, it'll be that. It'll be like a... The, the threat is coming. The anti-monitor is coming closer and closer. Sooner than what you think, Oliver Creed. Something like that. That's all I can guess into it. Other than that, he was just at the rap party because, hey, LaMonica, want to have a few drinks and have a laugh with some people you filmed with? It, it makes sense. So don't read too much into it, but who knows? Love to hear your speculation down in the comments below. Now, I remember reading this a few days ago, and I just wanted to include this in here. I'm not going to talk mega, mega long about this. I might make a whole separate video about this because I've voiced, you know, uh, apprehensive opinions about us, our spinoff show as it is. Um, so this is um, TV Line's, you know, uh, scoop, if you will, on... Uh, what Beth Schwartz has to say uh, about a possible Arrow spin-off show. So they asked, are there any rumblings about making Arrow's Kat McNamara, I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry, Ben Lewis and Joseph Jones series regulars for the final season, or maybe a possible spin-off is in the works. We did ask Schwartz if the all Flash Forwards episode Star City 2040 was envisioned as a backdoor pilot of sorts for a possible offshoot. It was definitely meant to grow the world that we had already built and to see the next generation of what all of and Felicity and our present day team have worked so hard for and sort of see what happens in the future. She answered, we love those characters and would love to see them go on in, the, in some capacity after the show's over. We're so happily internally about how it came out. She added, we kind of love our future story. So she did one of those kind of classical answers where she answered it without answering it, if that makes sense. So they like outright asked her, is there any plans for like a spinoff in the works? And she was like, oh no, we love this story and we would love to see it go, you know, these characters go on in some capacity or whatever. But she didn't say yes or maybe, maybe something's in the works there um so i just wanted to give that to you guys in case you hadn't heard it but ultimately i would love to know your thoughts on a spin-off show 
I really love Arrow and what they're building with the future scenes. I am like both for them and kind of somewhat against them and just in terms of what, you know, uh, they have brought to Arrow in terms of, you know, we know where certain characters are going to end up. That's just about where it ends with my, you know, constructive criticism there. I know a lot of people feel that way and I think it's a fairly understandable point of view to, to understand, if that makes sense. Um, but other than that, I am enjoying it. I just don't know how much faith I have in a show like that. I, I just worry that if they greenlight it, it would just it would just not last mega long but i feel like that is very presumptuous so you know i, I would definitely be willing to see it I, it definitely would work i just don't want it to um be an echo show that isn't going to go anywhere i just i feel like i need to see more of these flash forward scenes in season eight to be really sold on this future um you know beth schwartz and everyone say they have so much faith in it uh, as she you know says quote unquote like we're so happy internally about it how it came out we kind of love our future story a lot of people like me do say like everything they've worked for in present day literally does go to kind of shit uh but you know now you know with what we're seeing in the flash forward scenes it's being brought back by oliver queen's badass freaking daughter basically the new iteration of Oliver in Star City 2040. Um, and, you know, she's got basically the Felicity tech of uh, William there. And then you've got John Diggle Jr. So, you know, it is, it, I reckon it could work. But I would love to know your thoughts. Do you have any reservations about it? Are you apprehensive about it? Do you think that it could work kind of like me, but you're not sure if it should go forward? Is it, has it really got, it does have, I was about to say, does it have a strong enough foundation now? Of course it does. It has a whole eight seasons of Arrow as of next year behind it but I, I trust you know what i'm saying um so i think that's it for the news today guys let me know what you thought on everything i spoke about today like this video if you did enjoy it guys i'd really really appreciate that subscribe if you are brand new of course to see more arrow videos just like this i want to give a huge shout out to all the patrons appearing on screen right now thank you to you guys and all of my patrons not just the ones that are popping up on screen for helping me fuel the content that i create on this channel uh to talk to me directly about arrow join the discord server it's a growing community i really do love it and I'd love to see more of you there. But thank you so much for watching Vigilantes. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.